Good afternoon, St. Mary's and beyond. I'm Darby Everhard, and I'm here to give an update on all the things that are happening this weekend at St. Mary's. So this Sunday is the seventh Sunday after the day of Pentecost, and the story of the gospel in Mark is the story that you wish you could hand off to somebody else to preach. It's the story of the beheading of John the Baptist, like woohoo, great. What can you say about that? Anyway, it's a story in Mark that's placed between the story that of Jesus calling his disciples and then feeding the 5,000 on the other side of it. So it's really about the cost of discipleship and making those choices for love and to follow Jesus' way of love and disciple, as a disciple. And it, the, it's not easy to do that. And it's not that you will we'll be beheaded, but the story clearly points out the difference between when King Herod makes bad choices and the, the disciples make the good choice to follow Jesus or then to feed the 5,000 aided by a small boy with loaves and fishes. I would have loved to have preached on the feeding of the 5,000 instead of the beheading, but anyway, come hear about that, and there are many ways to um, engage with worship this, this weekend. We have our 9 and 11 a.m. services in the nave. Both are in-person and live-streamed services of Holy Eucharist. The 9 a.m. And musicians are at nine, and the eleven o'clock has the uh, choir. And as always, and we're also grateful for all of our preparation, flower guild, altar guild, choristers, all those people who help support our worship and make it all to the glory of God. So if you can't join us in person, and if you join us in person, you can just show up, leave your contact information at the door with the vestry person, and then um, take a seat wherever you're comfortable. There are some ribboned off areas if people want to continue to distance. We ask that you wear a mask when you're singing, and I guess if you're not going to sing, you don't have to put your mask on. Um, but we still are asking people to wear masks when singing happens. And also, if you're unvaccinated, um, please remember to continue to wear your mask to protect other unvaccinated people. And there was also, both services are live streamed on our YouTube channel. So if you can't make it or don't feel comfortable, you can be at home and watch us online. And then you can watch us anytime online. Not You don't have to be there at 9 or 11. So anyway, we're grateful for all of our connections, both in person and online, and hope that if you have um, any needs or concerns or any atta girls, atta boys, that you, we are always available for, um, for you to, um, to listen, um, to make visits, you can come into our offices and meet if you want to. We're here for you. We just want you to know that. Next a week, from, well, next Wednesday, there will be our normal service of Holy Eucharist at noon in the Chapel of Christ the King across the street in the CLC. So all are invited to that. That is a spoken service. So if you're vaccinated, we don't wear masks at that service, but we do continue to sign in our names if we attend. We, as a staff, yesterday planned as much of the calendar as we could, um, knowing that a new rector will be coming on board at some point this fall. And um, we put down our major um, events and things, and we had a wonderful session. I just want you all to know how great the staff at St. Mary's is. Very creative people, lots of ideas, and lots of wisdom in that room. So um, I really appreciate being able to have worked with them um, this past um, nine months, actually, almost. Um, and even during COVID, when we were on Zoom or online, it was wonderful to be together and to work with that great group of people. That's all for now, but I hope you all are keeping safe and um, if again, if you have any pastoral needs, please let us know. We're here for you. And St. Mary's is a wonderful parish, and there's been lots of outreach going on even during COVID. So continue to keep up the good work in God's kingdom. Blessings to you this afternoon, and keep the faith. Take care.